In this video, I'm gonna go through Porcelli test, which is a test for posterior inferior labral tears. The study seems to suggest that this has a sensitivity of 100% and a specificity of 99%. Again, this needs to be taken with a pinch of salt and other studies need to be done in this particular test. It's gonna be useful for your shoulder pain patients and patients with posterior pain in the shoulder after traumatic injuries like dislocations or other trauma to the shoulder. So to perform this test, you're gonna take the um, patient's arm into 90 degrees of flexion, uh, 15, 10 to 15 degrees of adduction and full internal rotation. So thumb pointing down towards the floor. You're gonna hold and stabilize the scapula, then ask Kate to hold the arm there and then resist elevation. So pushing down through the arm and then relax. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come around I'm going to turn your round cake slightly and we're going to basically put some pressure through the posterior aspect with my thumb of the shoulder joint and then we're basically going to do this and create like a, a slight PA pressure and we're going to do the same thing So come back around again so just stand back around towards the camera That's it. so flexion internal rotation adduction with that posterior at PA pressure and then doing the same thing so the idea with this would be that if you had pain in the first example which reduced or lessened or went away in the second example you'd be looking at a posterior inferior labral tear and the idea for this would be that you are stabilizing the, sh the humeral head stopping it from reducing or from um, traveling posteriorly as you're doing that test if it was positive with both, then you'd be looking potentially more at a chromocavicular joint injury, and that's something that we have cl test clusters for on the uh, channel, so check those out, and then you can diagnose whether it is in fact an AC joint injury. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a like and a subscribe, plus hit the bell icon, and that way you will be notified when any more of these videos are coming out, and I will see you next time.